Greetings, WordPressers. Here's a quick Elementor tip to fix some Elemental ugliness. Jackson here, welcome to my channel on YouTube, my place for WordPress and other associated web webiness. Uh, and if you are new here and like a little bit of WordPress, I do encourage you to subscribe. Check out the description, it has all the info and the links to all the stuff I'm gonna be talking about today. Okay, in today's show, this is a very quick elemental quick tip, quick fix in actual fact. If ever you've noticed weird styles loading before the actual real styled element looks like it should when a page loads with Elementor. It's basically a thing called F-O-U-C, a flash of unstyled content. Yeah, and it's ugly. So in this Elementor quick tip tutorial, I'll show you just how to fix that. Let me show you what I mean about this uh, Elemental ugly flickerness. I've got the hands Elemental kit site demo here. Uh, now keep an eye on the stuff on, in the left hand sidebar here. When I go up and refresh the page, take a look. Ooh, that wasn't too too nice. Not very pretty, was it? Let's refresh that again in case you missed it. Yeah, look at that. Disgusting. Right. Uh, now that is technically known as a flash of unstyled content. Uh, it's even got its own. Wikipedia page, there you go, that'll explain it more to you, but it normally means that uh, the, it's the browsers are built in CSS that's styling the elements on the page. But the thing is with, with this, it's actually not, I'll show you again, those colors are there, are the default Elementor styling and not how we've actually styled this sidebar section. Well, it's actually a template that is embedded on all the pages of this site that has its own style. So as I said, after quite a bit of digging around, I found that Elementor do acknowledge this as an issue. And there is actually a support page dealing with this problem. And it turns out there is quite an easy fix. Now there's two methods that they, they suggest. One is to change the CSS print method method to inline. Uh, let's, go and to, let's go and have a very quick look at that. If we go to the dashboard and go to Elementor settings and advanced, you'll see that this is what they're talking about here. This is print method. Now, this is why you don't want to choose that because um, keeping it as an external file will improve performance uh, or will have better performance. Um, so let's not use that method. The other method that they're talking about is this um, function whereby you can you can enqueue the specific CSS for a specific template in the header rather than the footer. Uh, and so this is a much more appropriate method to make sure we're not putting any overhead on the entire site where we only need that specific CSS loaded upstairs rather than downstairs, if you catch my drift. Okay, so let's go back to our demo site here. Now, if you recall, so what we've got to do is we've got to get this code into our website. Now, as you know, you could do that in a multitude of ways. One is that adding it to your themes function.php file, which is not recommended for all the reasons that I won't go into yet again, but even Elementor acknowledge that that's not the case and the functions should be added to the functions PHP file of your child theme. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Or you could add it to a Bespoke plugin. And given that quite recently, we actually created our own Bespoke project related plugin, that's how we're gonna get the code in for this method. Okay, so let's first up go copy the code that we need. And you'll see that we need to swap out the template ID in their code for the template ID of our said flickering horribleness. So let's go back to our dashboard and go look at our templates. And at the bottom here, you will see a section template that is the template that sits in that sidebar across all the in, uh, across the entire site. So we need the ID of this template, and it's pretty easy if you're using Elemental Pro because you can get the ID straight from the link that is displayed for that particular template's short code. Uh, if you if you're not using Elemental Pro, then hover over that and you'll see it in the link that pops up or click on it and you'll actually see the post ID in the URL. Okay, so now we've got our ID, let's go find our plugin. If you wanna create your own plugin, check out the, uh, check out the card above me and the description below it has the instructions about how, you're, how to make your own project specific plugin. Very useful addition to your WordPress arsenal. Okay, so let's go to our plugins. We're gonna go to our plugin editor and as I've said in many times, this is a demo site, so I wouldn't normally do this 
live on a, certainly not on a live site, but even on a production site, a staging site of some description, always do this over FTP using your code editor so you can quickly undo it if you trash your website. But as I know this is not going to trash my website, and also it doesn't matter too much if it does, then I will crack on and edit the plugin directly in the admin here. Okay, let's go find the plugin. Uh, it is the Hands Web Project plugin is the one I created for this particular demo. Again, create your own plugin, description in, uh, link in the description. Let's select that and we can see that we do indeed have some of the code that we've been using on various different tutorials. Now let's paste in our code. And here it is, our Elementor code. And here's our template ID. So let's just change that for 144. We're gonna update that. And we're gonna go back to our front end and give that a refresh. And Shazam, you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Absolutely no flickering, no ugliness. Uh, problem solved. One miniature word of warning about if you don't see it happen instantly for you, that could well be because you are running a cache plugin. I'm not on this website. So remember to flush your uh, website cache, if that's WP Rocket or Supercache, whatever you like. And also your hosting might be caching your site as well. So CSS is the first thing that is normally zapped into a tiny file and stuck at the bottom of your website. So it, you might not see it straight away. So make sure your cache is flushed. And there we go, ugliness over. Uh, so pretty good stuff there. The quick fix for stopping elemental looking ugly sometimes but do let me know if there's any other methodology that you might employ for that kind of thing or anything you like related to wordpress stick it in the comments below but until next time i shall see you later